and on a player to player level as opposed yeah. to like fully playing the matchup right. and really laming out Ganon and making sure they're not giving him the interactions he wants. I don't think yeah, and that's playing a, that's his bubble good, and stuff like that's that. That's a very good point. Because I don't think, go like, ahead, go ahead. oh man, when people stand in that light dash attack range. Oof. You gotta be careful, man. Yeah, like Ganon. I understand that that's where you want to camp most characters, but Ganon is waiting for you to stand there without dashing back. Speaking of matchups, we got Ro okay, so we got Robin. They're looking like <laughs> cooking up the heat right here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an interesting <laughs> matchup. Robin gets a lot of mileage of of keeping Ganon out, but the buttons aren't too fast. Yo. So once Ganon gets in, things can get uh, really scary. Unfortunately, the miss input neutral B off map there from Squarely. You hate to see but, uh, it. He's gonna start pushing right back off the platform. He was moving too. Like the like both of them started off pretty decently and then the miss input happened. You know, oh my god. Oh wow. yeah, no, he probably let go of the shield the last second right there. Yeah, I think it might have poked honestly. That second hit hits really, really low to the ground. Yeah. You'll notice uh, that one will catch ledge hang sometimes and stuff like that. Make Make just getting a lot going on right now. That's a very underrated move. Ooh. The fact that it can also break shields too is um if you're not too careful and you're just casually blocking way too much. Yeah. Another arc fire setup. A Make Make is not gonna get it quite yet. But he's doing magic. Right. He's doing magic right now, getting a lot of extra credit. Tried to call the jump out, didn't quite get it. That book pop <laughs> is actually gonna save Make Make's life almost, and then the, the hop and there out of coming in clutch right there. Yeah. <laughs> gonna get it done. Uh Robins who know how to use those item drops find themselves in a lot of really good situations because it just applies just enough pressure. You know, you can convert off of it if you catch it in your hand, but just uh, when it comes off oh. of you is a nice way to cover that space right next to you. Ooh, big spot for Squirrely. Unfortunately, uh, not connecting that Nair. Another uh, cross-up nose for Otsu. Bit of an overcommitment from, from Squirrely right there. Might cost him the rest of this game because... Maki Maki running away with this right now with all of this extra credit that he's building up right here. Yeah. And mind you, this is a very aggressive Robin from what we're seeing so far. You don't see a lot of Robins approaching too consistently like that. Oh, Ooh, great the getup attack from Squirrely right there. Yep, not falling to the trap there, picking anything that's going to get caught by the down smash. <laughs> Unfortunately, that L Thunder going to actually connect off map. Great stuff. A bit scary to look for that down B there, but uh, right. Squirrely getting a little bit tricky with the recoveries. I like the idea that, that Squirrely went for, but the, the, the problem was that he did it at the wrong time. Yeah, very unfortunate yeah. misinput right there. He probably wanted a side B, but just didn't move the analog stick because that happens sometimes to a lot of players. Because I feel like because he got hit, Right there, in the middle of his move, he buffered the other option yeah. by just pressing B just alone right there. Yeah. And we're going to see the Maki Maki edge guard right there. Yeah, it's scary. The, right the buffer there. in this game could be really unfortunate, especially if you are holding uh, B, if you had double tap, you know, yeah. it's going to come out a lot more than 11 frames after. It's so it hard. A long time it's, it's hard. Like, this is, a, that, this is just Smash Ultimate in general. Like, it's really hard in a competitive manner where you have a lot of buffering in this game. Is that, oh, I, I'm being pressured. I'm being... Uh, uh, like harassed by a lot of buttons and stuff. Let me do an option to get this person off me. But yeah. in that situation, that's what I felt like happened and rushed the recovery. Oh, Ooh, no, no jump. jump. Oh my Squirrely god, the getting block. a big push there. Can and you this, connect the edge guard? Oh the my bottom god. of the fair connecting. Squirrely so said, needy. let me activate my brain real quick. I don't need no spikes. I'm just going to dunk across the stage right there. Yeah, a very, practically a zero to death. Very dominant stock that you have to be careful trying to jump out again in combo during those early percents because he will snipe you out and push as hard as he can. I like the, I like the fact that Squir uh, Squirrely knew that he had enough time. Ooh. <laughs> to dodge Robin's um, grab, because Robin's grab is really slow. For those that don't, don't, that don't know too much, but I, I feel like a regular grab would have got it right there. Yeah. And right now, this is looking like the opposite of what happened in game one. Instead of Maki Maki being dominant, it looked like Squirrely is showing that, like, you know, I, I, I got what it takes yeah. to push you to another game, but Maki Maki at least getting a stock to make him respect him just a little bit more. Oh my god, that was an amazing side beat, but doesn't get the read. All right. And this goes back to what you were saying early before the set started. Like Ganon is a very read-based player, and most most people will use Ganon Ooh. for like a playstyle specific. Yes. Not like I, right, he's use, this person's using this character. I'm going Ganon straight off the bat. And now like Ganon is more like a a troll, having fun, hype type of character if you're playing him correctly. Yeah. And right now like we're already seeing how much Ganon struggles in neutral right there. Makamaki. Having the recognition to use their projectiles just a bit more right here. 
And nice, precisely timed back here right there. Even pushing squarely to his final stock. Absolutely. Even if you're not looking to troll per se, you know, the type of matchups Ganon uh, actually functions really well in. Uh, a matchup like this can be really difficult compared to those. Because typically you see Ganon picked against characters that have to make contact with you, that have to scrap with you. Yeah. And you are going to be scrapping with Robin, but Robin also gets a lot of time to put out these neutral Bs, <laughs> put out these side Bs, just kind of control yeah, a lot of we space. We see Robin scrapping. <laughs> Pulling the classic jewel right there, just playing with the with the little item box real quick. Oh, but yeah. Love that. Make Make demonstrating some very nice character specific knowledge here. Oh, we will definitely misspace that way off because um, not too many people know that Ganon can actually less cancel his wizard's foot if you space it correctly. In this in this stage, Ganon literally has to be at the middle of the stage to get the correct last cancel right there. Either that, or he's just trying to go for a neutral get up read, but probably might cost him right there. Dang near 150%, and tries to get the jump read. And I understand why Make Make is doing these spells the other way to make sure, you know, they're getting the item catch right next to them, but it's just not really, it's giving Squirrely a lot of time to just move in. Free. Yeah. Ah, uh, but nice not enough here, to though. move. Not enough frame data to move up B, like if it was Falcon. I like yep. that. I get the attempt. You know, you wanted to get that person off you. It's, it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Game 1 where the uh, Squirrely kind of rushed in specific scenarios. Like, we see that we saw that in Game 1 on Squirrely's very first stock, the buffer system happened to him, meaning yep. that he was trying to input something, rush the recovery, and want an advantage before the other way around. <laughs> And then that stop. was it. Yeah, the, my man LeBron him like three times right there <laughs> to the other side. Every time Ooh. I see Ganon like fold it, call it the LeBron because he just dunks yeah. it like that. Like when he you got get, the whole <laughs> format, everything. When you get too. punched by that move, it is te you feel all of the emotion with that forward air right oh, there. Oh yeah, the but not sound enough effect, of that. the crunch of it, the freeze, everything. It like you never so played brutal. the game and you get hit by a really brolic move and it's like ah like. That hurt me. Like, what, <laughs> what did I do to deserve something like that? Exactly. That's literally what the, how I see Ganon in, in this game yeah. is that he can be a bad character or he can be a good character. He can, yeah. Depending on the player, you got to make it work. You got to, you know, spice it up a little bit. Probably add some adobo along at the side with the character. But yes, sir. Got that's that 21 pretty much seasoning, how it's you know? Go. Got to keep it on deck.